Hi and welcome to my JavaNet Beam Loan Management System. Let me demonstrate how it works. Right there, I'm going to enter the interest rate. Let's say it's 4.5 and number of years in integers. So we can say let's go for about five. And here, enter the amount you intend to borrow. So let's go for maybe 35,000 all you then need to do is to come to the loan calculator click on the loan calculator and that is what you will end up with so at the end of the year you will actually be paying that much okay so which is 4,000 plus and you can generate a receipt and you can exit or oh, choose to continue or just exit so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Java net being and I put one of these together so that, so that you guys see how it was developed so let's do that now okay let's start a new project go to file new project and make sure you select Java Java application click on next I'm going to call it loan underscore systems I will uncheck this create main class and check that and let's click on finish all right right there is my loan underscore system the next thing you you guys should do is right click on the loan underscore system or whatever you call your file go to new and let's select jframe right there once you select jframe give your system a name so I'm gonna call this loan system and the same thing here loan system with an S click on finish right my form is ready if you if you like you can always right click on the form select the property and right there in the property I'm going to define the size where it says design design I'm going to call it 1300 by let's go for 700 the weight is 700 you see where it says generate center make sure you check that and that is it and the other thing I'm going to do now is let me copy that go to the properties right in the properties here let's go to where it says pre uh, prefer size okay that's the prefer size there and let's see the title I'm going to call it loan management systems there let's get the spelling right good and let's click on OK or close it there there we go the next thing I'll do now is let me go to the palette here select the following panel one panel here drag this very panel across copy the same right click on this panel then let's change the property you see where we have border click on the border and change it to bevel border and then the bevel border where it says type instead of raised change it to lowered lower it and there we go that's fine I'm gonna right click and copy it paste it there and move it down so I have two of those one is going to be for my heading and the other one is going to be for my buttons that is fine okay the next thing is you see this form itself the frame I'm gonna right click on the frame I was supposed to have done that let's change it to absolute layer all right now the, the panel as well let's change the panel to absolute layer and the other one the other one as well should be absolute layer okay that's fine so the next thing is let's come to label we need some label here we need about five of those and one here 
another label here and another one and one more label good okay let's climb in here we need text text field one two and three and we need two more then we need one text area here okay that very text area let's delete it for now it should be inside a panel yeah there we go change that panel to let's change the property of the panel to bevel let's come in here we need both this time and change that to bevel lower it as well then next thing is let's add text area right in there that is good I also need buttons there one button here one copy that to okay those are all my buttons in place there okay what I'll do now is you see that label let's give that label a name I think I'm gonna call that loan management calculator loan management system systems calculator there so let's speed that up guys okay guys this is how the interface looks right now so let me run it and you guys see what I'm talking about there we go there we go guys but right now this system is doing nothing okay so what I'm gonna do now is let's start with this okay let's start with this exit calculator so I'm gonna close that and let's come right in here double click on the exit calculator there those are the lines of code for exit calculator and for your information you must you must declare a method right here you can see private J frame frame before you can use this prompt exit system okay the next one let's come into the reset can you see that reset calculator double click on the reset calculator and those are the lines of code to reset the system all right let me show you guys one other thing right in here you can see the label enter annual interest rate okay and here I also have enter number of years as integer yeah I have enter the loan amount okay and here monthly payment in pounds and total payment in pounds here is just an ordinary design and right here I have what is known as a text area here are text field text field text field and these are labels okay now that you know all of the component that I used and you've seen the exit code I'll show that to you again the reset code right here so the next thing is let me show you the loan calculation code so right in here the first thing I did was I actually declared a variable called annual interest rate and the data type use is double okay so which means whatever content I have inside our label sorry inside the text box is stored into annual in interest rate annual interest rate is then divided by 1200 which is then stored inside monthly interest rate 
okay and then the next thing was the number of year okay which is right here the number of year you have to enter the number of year as integer and that is stored inside the variable known as number of year which is integer as well okay then the other one is the amount you intend to borrow okay enter the loan amount okay right in here the loan amount that is it right here okay the loan amount is then stored inside a variable called loan amount okay and the loan amount itself is multiplied by mod monthly interest rates monthly interest rates okay and open a bracket one minus one divided by mass dots okay and there we have the rest of the codes right right there okay I guess you guys can see that all right now this variable that I stored all of these calculation into is then stored into this string variable that I declared here that is it right here okay and that variable is then allocated into the mon monthly payments here this is where I converted it to pound sign and that's it then I then have the total payment here and that's all they restore it okay let me show you guys the codes again for the for the loan calculator just from here from here down and right here those are the simple line of code that was used okay you can have a good look at it okay now the last one let me show you the last line of code that I use and that's to do with the receipts okay so let's move to the receipts generate receipt double click on generate receipt and here I have the lines of code for generate receipt I've used exactly the same variable here okay if you guys scroll right down Okay. Uh, this time around all of the variables used is then converted to strings string data type okay and the content in each of the components the text area is stored inside annual interest rate the other one for which is meant to be the number of years is stored into number of year string the amount of loan is stored into amount of loan and the monthly interest rate and the total there we go there they are there they are here that's your int uh, your loan reference number let's get rid of this and here that is the code for date and time and finally below is the text area so all of those variables are then added onto the, the text area to generate my receipt and that is how it is so what you do is whatever the name of the text area is dot append and this is just my own title loan management system okay the reference for that is generated the interest rate that's it here the yearly repayment amount borrowed monthly repayment okay and the total that's everything here now come right down here we are enter the date and time that's it that is it right there so have a good look at it okay that's the receipt so let me move it up again so that you see the rest of the receipt there okay the other thing I did if you right click on 
this text box let's right click on it you change the event to key type let's go to key type okay you see these lines of code will prevent the end user from using any character key okay you would not be able to enter any alphabet or character so if I run it and try to enter any character let's say I enter 3.5 here and I try to enter character here you see that let me show you what I'm talking about enter that in there you see that is nothing is happening but I can just enter maybe 5 in there come in here try out the same thing nothing is happening okay but I'm able to enter numbers let's see you see that okay delete I can enter let's say we want to go for 45,000 plus loan there close that so all we then need to do is to click on loan calculator and we can if there's any mistake made we can always reset we enter the whole process again let's say it's going to be for seven years and we want to make it 52,000 pounds let's generate print out the receipt and there we go you can also click on exit if you don't want to exit click on no if you want to exit click on yes you exit the system and that is how the program works okay let's say we want to go for that there so before I leave let me show you guys the lines of codes one more time so let's start with the exit double click on exit from here you must declare a method for the exit these are the lines of code for exit now generate receipt these are the lines of code for receipt from here up to here okay guess you guys can see that up to here those are the lines of code for the receipt okay you can take it up and see it all right let me show you resets those are the lines of code for reset and finally calculate loan from here down here those are the lines of code to calculate the loan so let's maybe break this into two so that you can see it all yeah there we go let's run it one more time As the interest rates and how many years payment let's go for maybe five how much do you intend to borrow let's say 25,000 25,000 pounds click on that and there we go so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you all enjoyed and bye for now